What's going on everybody, Robles Jr. here and today I bring you one of the easiest hacks for your PS Vita only if you're sitting on firmware 3.60. This Vita I'm currently using is a 2000 model, the slim model, the second generation and this was sent to me by one of my viewers, one of my uh, loyal subscribers, thank you so much for sending it to me. And this one is actually bricked. So he tried to install Enzo and it wasn't working and I can't really go through the software update to update it to 3.73 and downgrade and I can't really access safe mode. I can't really do much with it. I can't install content manager. I can't connect it to my PC. So what we're going to do is just go through the entire process here and this is a great demonstration for you guys who also are kind of stuck in that uh, brick there with 3.60 and didn't fully install Enzo correctly. This will also work for the PS Vita 1000, but you have to have that memory card in order for you to install these files, which is Enzo for 3.60 off the PC, along with Vita Shell. If you are bricked, the only two things we need to get started with this hack is your Wi-Fi connection enabled and also have your web browser working fully functional. Let's get started by having internet access on our Vita by enabling our Wi-Fi connection. Head on over to your web browser and type in the following on your address bar. It will be http colon backslash backslash hinkaku dot xyz. One thing I forgot to mention is to make sure to set your date and time. That way you won't have any issues when going to this website. Once you hit enter, you should be taken to the Hinkaku website. If this didn't work and you're having issues in your browser, you want to clear your browser's cookies and history, reset your PS Vita and launch the browser again. And from there, we're going to hit the install orange button. We're going to hit the second install orange button and then you will get an error code. So just hit OK and just wait for it to do its thing. If all goes well, you will be brought to the Molecule page and it will begin to install Molecule onto your system. Once it finishes installing the package, you will have Hinkaku successfully installed onto your system. Going back to your home screen, you will now see a new app bubble called Molecular Shell. Next up, you want to run Molecular Shell and you want to press select so we can start our FTP server. Head on over to your PC and start up your FTP client. If you don't have one, I will have a link in the description to a FileZilla and you have an option to download either 32-bit or 64-bit and this application will work for Mac OS users as well. If you don't know your system type, you can always go to your Windows tab, go to settings, then go to your system and then under about you should see your system type there either system 64-bit or 32-bit go ahead and start up your FTP client and at the top or wherever you see it we're gonna have to type in the host and the port that information is located on your PS Vita and make sure you type all the numbers in correctly Also, keep in mind that this will only work if your Vita is on the same network as your PC. So make sure both of them are on the same network or else this will not work. Quick connect and press OK and you will now see all of your folders wirelessly appear on your client. Now we are ready to install those two files that we need onto our Vita. The links to these two files will be in the description down below. The first one will be Vita Shell version 2.02. .02. Click on the VPK and it should start downloading. Head on over to the second link and that'll take you to Enzo version 1.1. Click on that VPK and it should start downloading. 
once you have those two files ready we're going to go back to our ftp client and we are going to open up our uxo folder and from there we're going to right click create directory type in vpk so you have a vpk folder for future vpks and there we're going to copy those two files into that folder and you'll be all set we can now head back to our Vita and install those two applications and finalize this entire hack. Press circle to cancel your FTP server. Go down to your XO folder and find that VPK folder. We'll begin by installing Vita Shell by pressing X and you will get a warning window. Just press X again and we'll begin installing. We will now do the same for the enzo.vpk file. On your home screen, you should now see two applications, VitaShell and Enzo. Next, go to your settings and under Hinkaku settings, you want to make sure that Enable Unsafe Homebrew is checked. And we're also going to spoof the version to 3.73 to avoid any updates during this process. Head back to the home page, scroll down and launch Enzo. Press circle to accept the terms and conditions. Next, press X to start the installation process. When the option appears, press X again to continue or any other key to exit. Once the installation is complete, press any button to reboot. This may take some time, so just be patient. And now when you're booting up, you should see the Enzo logo instead of the PlayStation logo. Once you're fully reboot, you now have Hinkaku custom firmware permanently installed on your system. And make sure to follow my playlist in the description down below where I teach you all sorts of different hacks where you can install different games, different plugins, and all sorts of awesome applications to enhance your experience on the PS Vita. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Any questions whatsoever, please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.